OrgRef is out on Melpa now, so I want to show people a little bit of how to use it. We're going to open a vanilla Emacs that uses this configuration file. I'll describe it uh, later. And we're going to use this now to create a new manuscript file and from that export to a PDF. So let's create manuscript.org. It's an empty file and we're going to write a little short paper. First, let's define a bibliography. This is a, a link and OrgRef is already telling me that it doesn't exist because we haven't made it yet. But we can click on our link and it opens the bib file and now we want to add some entries. The first thing I'll show you is that we can drag a PDF onto it and OrgRef will find the DOI and download the PDF and sh uh, allow you to read it and en enter automatically the BibTeX entry. If you have a free a freeform citation, let's look at, uh, at reference 10 here, we would like to add this one as well. We copy that and we uh, run a command crossref add BibTeX entry, paste in our citation, select our bibliography, and this will reach out to crossref and show me some menu of options that we can choose. The first one is the one that I want. So there it is. It downloads a PDF as well. You can see this should be uh, type, uh, typed as a, as a chemical formula, so let's go ahead and fix it. This will mean we have to add a package uh, later for export to PDF. Okay, so you can add all kinds of references uh, like that. We can also uh, look at websites. So here is a, a website with a URL. I can grab the URL and drag it onto my BibTeX file, and it also will add a PDF uh, and download it for me, like that. And the final way I wanna show you is that we can, if we have a DOI, let's say uh, reference seven here, we have a DOI right here that we might want to uh, copy. And we can come over here and say DOI add and paste in the DOI, press enter and enter. And this will also automatically download a BibTeX entry. Okay, it didn't get a PDF because APS makes it difficult uh, for people to automatically download them. Okay, so there is our bibliography file that has four references in it that we can start to use uh, in our paper. Okay, so let's add an introduction. And we can cite a paper. We'll use the OrgRef menu first and cite the first one that's there, and there it is. Okay, OrgRef automatically tells you down here what you put in so you can see it. We can select more than one, and we can also do alternate sites. So if you know you want this uh, author or the year or something like that, we can do this, and we can say just do the reference number. Okay, that's pretty helpful and uh, looks pretty easy, but we can uh, mouse over any of these to remind ourselves what we cited and that's pretty helpful as you start getting very, very large numbers of uh, references. Okay, let's look at a couple of other features. Let's say we're doing some work and we have an equation and let's put in, uh, put in that equation right here and that equation is y equals sinh of x. You can see a label here we might want to see uh, in the text um, we might want to refer to an equation. So let's look again at, at our menu. We have insert reference, and we'll get a menu of options. Now it's conventional to use an equation reference, not a regular reference. So we can get to a menu where we select that. And there we have uh, what we're interested in. Okay, if you put your cursor again on this, you get a, a message at the bottom that says what it refers to. Okay, moving on to results. One of the features of org mode is that you can integrate uh, source code into your uh, documents. Okay, so here is a, a little Python script that will plot the sinh of x 
and save it as a figure. We configure it here to export nothing. And let's also make the result silent. And run this. And what we'll get is, uh, is nothing because we just ran it and we didn't have it output anything. But we can see that something happened because there is now a cinch.png. And you can click on this to see what it looks like. Right. You can also display it in the buffer. But it, it's a, a little bit inconvenient to, to look at here. Let's add a caption. And we want to label this so we can refer to it uh, also. Orgref makes it easy to generate uh, unique labels. So you can see here that we're on the create new label and that means that this one is unique. And we can then refer to the figure. And we can choose what, what label to reference. We'll use the default one and there it is. Okay, you can do this for tables, uh, sections, all kinds of other, other references. All right, we want to uh, now consider what happens if we use uh, a more comprehensive uh, bibliography. All right? In OrgRef, we can just add a comma separated list, and this file has a lot of, of different references in it. So let's uh, get to conclusions. And now let's do a search. There are about a thousand different BibTeX entries in here. Let's uh, s simplify this down to papers by me that are tagged org, org mode. Okay, and we'll select them all and insert them. Okay. That's the, uh, the end of conclusions. Again, we can click on any one of these and uh, maybe you want to see what this one is. Let's say open it in a browser. There it is. Um, let's say we want to find, uh, how about related articles in Web of Science. Of course, you have to have a subscription to Web of Science uh, to do that. But here we have a whole bunch of these. And if you clicked on any one of these, we could just copy this. Uh, DOI and add it very easily to our bibliography. Okay, that's about uh, ready to wrap it up. Let's add a bibliography style so we can generate a PDF. We'll just use a simple unsort, unsorted file. And let's go to the top and add a title and some options and tell it to use the extra packages that we want. Let's see, let's add an attribute here so that this figure gets put exactly here. And for that, we'll need the float package. And here, we'll just give it a title, turn off the table of contents. We'll use this mhchem package for the citations that contain chemical formulas. And we'll use uh, the float package for, for this. Okay, all we have to do now is run the export command. We'll select uh, L for LaTeX and O for the PDF file and open. What's happening now is org mode is exporting this simple text file to uh, LaTeX and then compiling it through PDF LaTeX. Okay, here's our results, title, my name, here's our introduction, our citations, this is the site num, here's the equation reference, here's our figure where we want it and the reference, here's all of the papers that have used org mode, and here is uh, the formatted bibliography the way um, we asked for it. Okay, that's basically it. It shows, uh, I hope, how, how straightforward it is to go from uh, a nearly empty uh, document to a PDF that is uh, almost formatted in a way that could be used uh, for a report including some source code, some cross-references, and all of the useful things like tooltips that uh, OrgRef makes possible. That's it. I hope you find OrgRef to be as useful as we do, and I hope everybody has a, a happy new year and a great year next year.